All right. To enhance, to bring enhancement to Renita, I am going to be evaluating her. Um, I thought she excelled at giving information about uh, military kids and how that affects their lives. Um, she was anxious uh, and I think she knows that. Uh, not that anybody isn't anxious when they speak. Uh, so just maybe being more prepared, uh, deep breathing beforehand, um, just a process a lot of people have to work through. Um, I would challenge you on bringing more, even though you gave a lot of information about being a military child to maybe give a little bit more enhancement or dynamicness to it as you get more comfortable. And if you worked on the speech a little bit more over time, um, but overall it was really good. Um, you had a lot of clarity, you know, even though you were a little anxious at the beginning, you're still easy to understand no mumbling or anything. Um, vocal tone, for the most part, I thought was good. It was hard to see eye contact and physical gestures too well. Uh, so I had a hard time evaluating those as well. Um, same thing for the audience awareness. I couldn't quite pick up on that as well. Uh, I'm sure the nervousness maybe you weren't able to possibly um, be able to be as aware of the audience if you're more focused on just giving the speech at this point. Again, I'm sure that's a growth thing and you'll get better on that. Uh, comfort level, once you got through the initial part of the speech, you seemed like you flowed a lot better and started to get fairly comfortable with giving the rest of the speech. Uh, you're, the specific speech purpose, it was pretty obvious. You were pretty on target with your purpose. Um, and then the general speech purpose, um, I gave you a five on that. You did, did great on the purpose of the speech. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster.